So hello, I'm Carl Stoll from Ingate. We're actually two merged companies, Ingate and Intertex Data AB from Sweden. Um, we're known for session border controllers, but now we added on a lot of WebRTC stuff. And one thing is the turn server, another thing is uh, uh, WebRTC and SIP PBX companion, as we call it, and which I'm going to show today. And that is something that sits between the LAN and the WAN and integrates WebRTC uh, into a UC environment uh, or a PBX environment. And it includes our full session border controller uh, capabilities and a WebRTC gateway to SIP. It includes our Qturn. Uh, the turn server between the LAN and the WAN, and if you want to use web service inside us, accessible from the WAN and the LAN, you can do, or you use your normal web servers. So, what's the good thing about all of this? Uh, I mean, WebRTC is fine, but it really bypasses the infrastructure you have. Um, by itself, it bypasses this unified communication of PBX or call center. It just goes directly into your browsers. So um, instead, we bring all the features of WebRTC into that environment. And what we're talking about is um, a couple of very useful things. And this is for the PBX vendor or for a UC solution vendor to integrate with that system. It's not something we sell to, uh, on the open market, but it's really a sort of an OEM product. And uh, the features it brings is you can put click to call buttons on your website. You can pass links that goes directly into your SIP infrastructure, send it in an email or whatever, uh, hook up to something. And it brings a soft client. And a soft client that is very good in, in, especially in two respects. Um, it's a soft client for, for your system that can be used everywhere because it has very good firewall NAT traversal built in uh, into WebRTC browser itself. So you can use it as a remote client or locally. And today we're also going to show that you can do multi-party video conferencing directly in the browser and in an ad hoc way, which is very convenient. So um, I'm going to go live with this zone. We have a test site, webrtc.ingate.com, uh, which I'm going to, it's back in Sweden, and it sits into our LAN and our SIP system. But I will use it from here, and I have, I have actually this device and another laptop and, and, and um, uh, um, a Nexus pad here that I will show. And first, I'll do a very simple thing. I will just show this sending a link. This is the real one. So here I'm up to Sweden. And um, we got a request from a PBX vendor that when they send out WebEx uh, invitations, which they do quite frequently, it was their own WebEx invitation, there was also a very big hassle that for people to find a phone to connect to their conference bridge. So why couldn't they talk just in the browser, now when we have WebRTC? So we created such a link here on our test application. This is just a test. So if I pass on this link to someone with, um, with uh, my invitation to a WebEx, he can just, whoever receives this can just click on it and he gets kind of a small client, and uh, it calls back now to Sweden, and hopefully I'll get some audio out. Hello. Hi, guys. Where's the audio? <laughs> Do I have audio? No. Uh, I had it before. Welcome to Ingate Conference Server. <laughs> Press 1 to join the conference. Welcome. Hey, you are nine hours late. It was Swedish time. Press 1 for the summary. Press 2 for some music or start to disconnect.
And this actually also included the pin code to join the conference, this link. And uh, you have DTMF working, you press one and... Meeting summary, WebEx was not working. Next time we use WebRTC screen sharing instead. So <laughs> you can do simple things like that with this integration into your web system. And I'll go back to the real application. And uh, let's do something more advanced. With these three devices, I will set up hopefully a five-party video conference ad hoc. So this is my SIP client. I'm registered here. As you see up here, it's, it's um, my SIP address back in Sweden. And uh, I just put in my credentials here. And it registers as a SIP client. So now I'm on both on SIP and, and others are people are joining just as WebRTC clients on this site. So um, first of all, let's send someone a link and say, uh, call me today when I'm doing this conference. And since I don't have too many devices, I will send that to myself for the moment. And whoever presses that, get the pop-up window uh, in uh, Chrome. And when I allow that, it will bring me. So now I'm talking to myself, and I will be very quick in muting these microphones <laughs> to stop that from oscillating. And I will soon call this, which is on another internet line. and. Uh, and uh, put this main window in the front. And I call John here. Put up another call. And it rings there. And you can see my profile coming there. And that's a separate call. But let's join him into conference. Uh, so we get them all conferencing. and. Uh, Let's show some PSDN integration. We won't have the problem with the, the sound going round and around. In Sweden, we have a very modern service that if we want to know the time, uh, we dial Mrs. Time. And let's put Mrs. Time into conference. <laughs> so it's dialing back to Sweden over the SIP structure and hopefully connecting Mrs. Time uh, to conference. So you will hear some Swedish time marks here. 23, 30, och 0. And uh, I turned on my... Juni. While she's talking... 23, 30, och 10. I turned on my Nexus pad here. And uh, 2014, why don't we try to conference 23, that one in also? 30. I got a little ring here. It says allow. And uh, yeah, hello. 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 Am, I, am, I, am, I here? am I here? In the conference. So I mute the microphone. And since you're seeing too many faces of me, that's not so funny. I will switch to the front camera. And I will press allow. And let's see where's the camera. And here you are, guys. I'm at the conference, WebRTC conference, and now I have a five-party video call ad hoc, directly in my SIP client, connected to my UC or PBX. So that's a very useful system. You don't have to go into a conference room anymore to do HD video conferencing. And, I, and this is an example client from us. It's, the purpose of this product is that um, the PDX vendor or the UC vendor actually puts his profile on it. And uh, we provide all this connectivity. And she will start stop talking very soon. And I have 11 seconds left. And I think I've done what I should do. So, thank you very much. <laughs> mm -hmm.